In this quick video, we are going to be looking at the blend command in Midjourney. So blend command allows you to upload two to five different images and then it looks at the concept and aesthetics of each image and merges them into a new image. So when you type in blend and click, hit enter, uh, by default it gives you the option of uploading two images. So in this case, let's say I want to blend this image and this image of a headphone. So let me first select the first image, then I'm going to select the second image, right? And all you have to do is hit enter. Uh, let's see what uh, is the blending of these two images. Okay, here is the result and it's actually pretty amazing because it understood the concept of the headphone and then a female face and what it did was actually put the headphone over uh, the female. So it's pretty amazing and then you can see these uh, uh, colorful smokes coming out of it. The blend command works similar to the Im uh, multiple image prompts using the slash imagine commands but you cannot add any other text to it so let's say uh, if we copy these links we can use the Im imagine prompt right and then paste in uh, the links to these two images our original images and here a good thing is we can add the aspect ratio as well so let's say 16 by 9 okay so just using the imagine prompt gives us very similar results uh, but they now we can control the aspect ratio so this looks pretty cool now let's see what happens if we try to blend this image with a certain style like this. Okay, so I'm going to type in slash blend. After this, we're going to look at how we can um, combine multiple images. Okay, let me first select the style image and then uh, the image of the female. Okay, let's run this. It actually produced some cool effects in here. So, uh, just for reference, here was our style, and here was the image of uh, the female that we wanted to use, and it produced, uh, it, it, like it blended in a way that it is adopting the style, but still keeping the face realistic rather than a painting. So it's pretty awesome. Now let's see what happens if we try to blend um, a scenery with a, a character. So for example, this is a scenery and we want to uh, blend it with this character, okay? So I'm going to type blend and we select a scenery and then our character, all right? And just hit enter. Okay, so here are the results. Uh, let me pull up the original images. So our character, it did put a, a character uh, in a similar scene uh, to what we provided it, but then you it uh, changes the background. So the background seems to be uh, inspired from this background. Uh, let me upscale the first image. So whilst it's doing that, let's see if, um, if we want to blend more than two images. So I'm going to go back. I will select this. Uh, with the painting style that we chose and now in order to add more than two images you need to come here click at the end then it gives you the option of image three four and five so let's add image three uh, I'm going to keep the scenery I don't know what the result is going to be I haven't tried this so it's going to be a fun one and image four uh, let me add the headphones okay and uh, apart from, like you can actually add one more image. So I'm not going to do that, but you can also define the dimensions, right? So if you select the dimensions, now it, uh, it lets you define whether it ha it, you want it to be a portrait, a square, or a landscape. So uh, let's say we will select first landscape and then I'm going to try the portrait as well. All right, let's see what the result is going to look like. I think it's going to be a fun one. Oh, okay, so this is actually pretty cool because it, it kept the scenery, then it changed the um, face or the like it transferred the style of the uh, painting that we provided. So here, and it also added headphones, right? And it's in uh, landscape. I actually really like these images. Uh, they turned out to be great. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to upscale. I guess like the 
two and probably three. Okay, let's upscale them. So two and three, and maybe uh, the first one as well. I also want to try uh, this female image and blend it with the Joker image. So let me do that uh, and let's see what the results look like. So there's the female image and uh, that's the Joker image. I think it's going to be some kind of a uh, comic villain, female villain. Let's see. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, it seems to be like a female Joker. Uh, so it altered the um, our uh, female character based on the Joker. Uh, so it was the female character. The hair is still uh, kept the same way in, in the original image. And then we have a uh, uh, Joker image, right? So it has, especially like the multi area, it, it's definitely more inspired from the Joker image. Now you can also blend, um, let's say, animal uh, as well, uh, along with the characters that you want. So I'm going to do just two more tests. One is this cat, so it's a cyberpunk cat, and then uh, our original character. So let's see what the results will look like here. Okay, it's executing the, the prompt. Okay, this seems to be more inspired from the cat image. Uh, the posture is similar to our character, uh, but it added, I think, uh, more importance to the uh, style and concept of, of the cat, a cyberpunk cat. Okay, I'm going to do one more, uh, one last test. So I want to blend, I think this is going to be an interesting one. So the female character, then the style that we had, and let's put uh, an image three and put the headphones on okay and let's change this to the first a portrait and then a landscape all right okay uh let's run this it okay so these are actually turned out pretty great um this is then a portrait mode and then i ran the same command in uh, landscape mode as well uh, th these are definitely something that I can uh, use in my own work. So uh, this was a quick video on uh, how to blend different images. It's a really neat way of combining multiple images and the aesthetics as well as concepts and come up with some great images that you can uh, potentially use. I hope uh, you found this useful and like the content. Uh, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.